from One Twins Way in Minneapolis. Welcome inside Target Field. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Kansas City Royals taking on the Minnesota Twins. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. Just about ready to go. And today's starting pitcher, Sonny Gregg. What do we need to know here about the right-hander? Well, there are going to be a lot of balls in play because of the ground ball rate. Important that the defense stays engaged in the game. I think it's critical tempo is there. If you work quickly, it helps the fielders behind you to stay engaged, to make those plays, and help you get through the innings. So just about set. Nicky Lopez up to the plate. Off the afternoon for Kansas City. The shortstop, Nicky Lopez. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. And that's how this game gets started. First pitch, 1 o'clock. You'll want. Hit on the ground to the right side. And foul ball. He was a little out front, but did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off. Oh. Next offering upstairs. Two and two. And another ball. Stays alive. The wide to kick the pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these guys are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Got him. One away on the strikeout. Nice warm day here. Good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it. And that part, you can get on the inside part of the plate as well. And here now, the lineup for the Royals. The challenge for him today, Singy, elevating the baseball against this sinker baller that's on the mound. Yeah, that's the challenge, but it also might affect the way they approach base running in this one, Boog. You get a runner on first, you anticipate trajectory down, and when the ball's in the dirt with a good secondary lead, you break for second. So whether it's a stolen base or not, you stay out of the double play, get that runner in a scoring position, and that can help you put more runs on the board. B-I-D, ball in dirt. Bobby Witt Jr. stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. In the air, right side of the infield. Polanco moving under this one. And that is the third out of the inning. It's the Royals nothing, Twins coming to bat. Back after this on the show. We go to the bottom of the first. Today's starting pitcher, Zach Greinke. How about a report on him, Chris? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, 
He's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel. That can make life very difficult on his opponents. Bottom of the first, Luis Arise stands in. The wind of the pitch. That one outside, ball one. Next pitch misses inside, ball two. And here it comes. Line drive and a base hit right there. So a man on base to start the inning. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Here's Byron Buxton. In there, and it's 0-1. Righty delivers, and a foul ball. Kicks and deals. All one, one there. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating nope. based off the trajectory, get yourself into scoring position. Right-hander kicks, deals. Oh, now this one gets away at the plate. No, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base paths. It's not just the pitcher. Sure it's stop. other guys that Hello. have to think about it from your Correa. infielders. Have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Carlos Correa watches that one for a strike. Standing in here with one down. Arise. The runner at first with one gone in the inning. That one hammered left field, way back there. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Right past his coach, headed for the plate. Cut off, now a throw home. The tag, out. Well, this just can't happen right there. You can't try to score from first base with less than two outs unless you can pretty much walk across the ditch. And to get thrown out like that really throws water on the fire of a rally in this inning. Better now, Jorge Polanco. First offering, and it just misses. The strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. Man on second, two down. That's a ball. No, no need to go right at this guy. First base is open. He can hurt you, so make him expand his zone. If he doesn't, give him a walk. Runner leads away at second. Bounced up the middle, and that chance handled. Over to first, and Polanco is out. And that is that. Twins wind up stranding one. We played an inning. No score.
And welcome back. And here's the rookie catcher, MJ Melendez. Leading up for Kansas City, the catcher, number one, MJ Melendez. The pitch. And there's the strike. That misses, and the count is one and one. Boog, our man, Daryl Parker, DP at home plate for this one. Pretty average size strike zone, but the book on him is that it sort of moves around. You can't always count on how he's going to call it from game to game. Next offering is downstairs. Yeah, he's one of those umpires that I have to see make his call on a borderline pitch before I start making my call. Like you said, it's not always predictable, but it's pretty fair for the most part. Two and one now. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. Bounced up the middle. Polanco picks it up. Throw to first is in time. Barely got him for the out. Close play. That is it. The designated hitter, Hunter Dozier. Here's Hunter Dozier to the dish. That one fouled off. One down, base is empty. That's inside. And it's a ball and a strike. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. A wind in the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two down. Vinny Pasquantino steps in for the Royals. Number nine, Vinny Pasquantino. First pitch just misses. Second inning here, no score. Next offering way off the plate. No, that pitch not even close. A 2-0 count now. He can't be over aggressive. He's got to make sure that pitch is right on a tee for him. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then... By the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Two outs. Stays alive. Next one misses, and the count's full. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game winning run. I love his tenacity. Foul ball there. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Royals go down one, two, three. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the second. Now batting Max Kepler. Leading off for the twin. The right fielder, Max 
Kepler. The right-hander back to work. That one to first. Pasquantino handles the chance. And he takes it himself for the out. That exists. The left field. Alex Kirilov. Here's Alex Kirilov. That one's in there, 0-1. 0-1's the count. Well struck, right field. And it's gone! Home run! He leads the yard to right, and that gives him a lead. It's 1-0. gets pitch recognition early he saw exactly where that was going to be the challenge not get over anxious and come out of your swing he stayed on it and got all of it here's Gio Urshela seven, the third baseman and yeah, that's in there for strike one Urshela and a pitch and there's a foul ball. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The pitch. And ball one. And a pitch. To the right side. Steps on first for the out. No, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little Batman. bit. Rolled over on it and beat it into the ground. Gary. And here comes the power hitting catcher, Gary Sanchez. In today's game, you look at exit velocity as a measure of process, and if guys are hitting the ball hard, eventually the results usually follow. And Gary Sanchez, he is a guy that hits the ball hard. And a pitch. Good eye right there. After giving up that home run earlier, it just doesn't seem like he wants to challenge him. The next pitch misses, and that's ball three. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. There's a strike, 3-1. and one. Taking all the way on 3-0 right there, and as a hitter, you're saying, why couldn't I get that pitch earlier in the count when I'm looking to swing? And that one fouled off. Good plate That's appearance there. Four. Able to take the walk. Batting and at first, but now the hitter. Minnesota designated hitter, Jose Miranda. In there, and it's 0-1. There it was. 0-0. Oh, oh, here it is. Hit it. He gets a take. Gets a head and a count. Sanchez off of first with two away. Line drive. Base hit. Throw in. Holtz the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Now, no, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Solid swing from start to end on time with everything really good balance nice extension and he met it out front for the line drive knock stepping in Luis arrives 
Now a screamer into the outfield. Isbell makes the catch, and that'll do it. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. It's now a 1-0 ball game. Welcome back. New inning getting started. And now it's Kyle Isbell. Leading off for the Royals. The right fielder. Guys, Kyle Isbell. Gray back to work. On the ground to the left. Correa over to pick it up. Gets it to first. One up, one down. Batting it. The center fielder, number two. Michael A. Taylor. And to the plate for Kansas City, Michael A. Taylor. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And the righty deals. And now two balls and a strike. And he deals. And one fouled off, two and two. The wind of the pitch. Stays alive. High fly ball out to center field. Buxton on his way over. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And there's two down. Batting nine, the second baseman, number 11. Number 11 steps in for the Royals. First pitch, not close. Righty delivers. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right, and that will get out of play. The pitch. Two ball, one strike. That's out to center field. A little bloop single, and that extends the inning. Now batting. Shortstop. So the batting order turns Nikki. over. And the batter will be the shortstop. Nicky Lopez. He's over for one. Gray checks over to first. And he's back. Wait. And the first oh, offering is not close. Sonny Gray checks on the runner, and he's back in safely. And the 1 0. And there's a ball. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for him to stay down around the knees to be effective. The 2-1. And that one fouled off. And the pitch. And a 
foul ball, he stays alive. He's going, he's Here's going, the he's pitch, going. run around the goal. Thank you. There's the ball. Sanchez Thank throws. You. Too late, stolen base. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. Payoff pitch. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. He'll do it again. Three, two on the way. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Two outs and one in scoring position. Tapped softly on the ground. The throw to first. Out number three. Royals lead one. They trail here. One nothing. Back in Minnesota, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Stepping in the long ball threat, Byron Buxton. To center fielder, Byron Buxton. The line to kick the pitch. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Next pitch misses, and now it's even one and one. Next offering is way upstairs. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And the count is two and two. Two strikes to a guy who's already 0 for 1 with the punch out. The only guy in the lineup with that strikeout. But you can't get too relaxed. You still got to make good pitches to get him out. Next offering misses. And the count's full. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. Now this one is smoked down the left field line. On its way, it's fair. Out of here. Byron Buxton blasts one out. And they tack on to their lead. It's 2-0. Well, he really crushed that thing down the line. And everyone had to hold their breath until it banked off the pole. And every time that happens, it just kind of feels like a trick shot or something. But really, it's just a stroke of luck that it stays fair long enough. The batter number now four. Correa up to him. Shortstop. Right, that one's in there, 0-1. Oh, oh, yeah. well, he's got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Here comes a pitch. Clips the outside corner, 0-2. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Bounce to the left side, and that one finds its way through. He kind of rolled over now on this pitch a little bit, pitch. but he got enough Jorge. behind it to shoot it through for a knock, and you'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. So digging in, Jorge Polanco. Foul ball. And the 1. Meanwhile, this pitch gets away. Nice job behind the plate there.
and here it comes. And a curve misses outside. And a 2 1 on the way. Correa it goes. And he grounds one back up the middle, sneaks through, base hit. And now runners at the corners, nobody out. All over that one right there. These days, when you see a ball come off the bat like that, the first thing you want to know as a spectator, what was the exit velocity? 109 in this case. I mean, that's just impressive, and it's so cool we can get that sort of feedback so instantly in today's game. Max Kepler at the plate. 0 for 1. He grounded out to first his last time. In there for strike one. Correa, the runner at third. Polanco at first with no outs. Base hit and a run in to score. Well done, drives in the run. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Here's the left fielder, Alex Kirilov. The solo homer his first time. The left fielder, Alex. And that's in there for strike one. A one down. That one out to right. Isbell makes the play. Runner tagging for third. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really try it. Now batting. Third baseman. Gio. Gio Urshela to the plate. Urshela. In there, and it's 0-1. In this situation, the batter's got to know what the pitcher's trying to do to him, and that's trying to get him to hit the ball on the ground, get two for one. you got to look for something up in the zone. At worst-case scenario, you deliver the sacrifice fly. Line drive, base hit. Runner from third comes across, but it's 4 nothing. Now the throw comes in. Runner holds it third. Picks himself up in RBI. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you left the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. One away, runners at second and third. Now Gary Sanchez Petter. now. Gary. Petter. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Two on, one out. And it's even up. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Bullpen action for the Royals. Jackson Kowar appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. The 1-1. One, one. That one drifts inside. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. The count two and one. Fouled off. He was late. Stays alive. Don't think you want to throw him that pitch again. He hammered it. Next time, he'll make it fair. In the dirt. And an excellent job keeping it right there. The pitch. Got him looking. Now two out. Jose Miranda, the next win up to him. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here.
That one's in there, 0 and 1. Big moment in this game. Two outs, two runners in scoring position, and could really break this thing wide open early. And the right hander deals. And that one missing low. Two balls, one strike. Second and third, two down. And it's fouled away. Two two down. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Very dominant with that fastball inside. The hitter's going to be conscious of that. Now you have the outer half of the plate to work with out there on the mound. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Three innings complete. It's the Twins four and the Royals nothing. Back at Target Field, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Andrew Benintendi. Andrew Benintendi. The wind and the pitch. That one missed. Ben Intendi, the former first round pick, Golden Spikes Award winner. Fought off foul. His eyes got big. He saw that change up way out in front. Better to pull it than to get jammed on something off speed like that. Kicks and deals. Hey. So now one and two. And the next pitch is way outside. On the ground to third. Urshela to first in time. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of the keeping the ball out of seven. the air. Let's the defense Bobby work behind him with another Jr. ground ball. Good execution. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. Flied out his first time. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And first offering is fouled off. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Up the middle. Polanco tosses the first. Two up, two down. Up next to the Royals, the catcher, MJ Melendez. Now the catcher up to hit, MJ Melendez. Oh, for one, he grounded out in his first at bat. First offering misses badly for ball one. Close one, doesn't get the call. And now 2-0. Oh. Right-hander kicks, deals. Misses with the 2-0, oh, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone.
Here's a 3 0. He swings and fouls one off. The pitch. Smash to the left side. And that's a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Now batting. Dominant performance for him today, Boo. Just two hits allowed so far. No runs across either. And he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. Hunter Dozier steps in for the Royals. Struck out swinging his first time. And that's in there for strike one. Melendez, the runner at first with two gone. Let's go, Twins. Ball the next one. offering misses. Ball one. Oh, no. Steal, steal, steal. Runner on the goal. And he grounds one to the right side. And it finds its way through for a hit. So that's two straight, two out hits. Back-to-back -back base hits. Just a simple the ground ball the other way that not. had eyes on it, man. Vinny Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the team. ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ball game. So first and second with two outs. And next up for the Royals, Vinny Pasquantino. In there for strike one. Left-hand hitter waits. And fouled off. Right Owen Chu now. Line drive, and that's base hit out of the center field. Here comes Melendez. Throw is offline, and he scores. It's 4 1. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Kyle Isbell. So, up now for Kansas City, Kyle Isbell. Flares it into the outfield. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a 4-1 ball game. Just some places, some places we go. Just some whips, some whips we roll. Oh, always we know. Just some things, some things we show. Oh. Bottom of the fourth, and now the first baseman, Luis Arias. Leading off for the Twins. The first baseman, Louis Arias. And a pitch. Here we go. That's hard hit on the line. Taylor racing over to make the catch. The center fielder, number 25. Byron. And next for Minnesota, Byron Buxton. He's already homered here in this one. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. And a pitch. Swings and chases a low one there. Just a bit late on that 0-1 breaking ball. 0-2 hole now. He's going to have to shorten up, tighten things up if he's going to have a good at bat. And a foul ball. Look out. That ball was smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines. Just ensure safety for the fans. Last thing is a player you want to look up and see a fan get hit. That hits two. the dirt. Yeah, the count one and two. 
And down on strikes he goes. And there are two down. Chris, third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. Two outs, base is empty. Carlos Correa, the next twin up to him. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. The wind of the pitch. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Oh, and two now. Swing and a slow roller. And it goes just foul. Kicks and fires. Stays alive. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. Two outs. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Twins retired in short order, but they lead it 4-1. to one. We go to the top of the fifth and to the plate for Kansas City. Michael A. Taylor. Kansas City, the center fielder, number two. Michael and the right hater back to work. Here's the strike. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Caleb Thielbar getting loose out there. Jax getting loose as well. And now the 1. Ball one there. The 1-1. One, one. That one the other way. Nice grab. Great hops right there, Boog. He timed it just right to bring that now liner back. down, and he Number saved 11. enough. Number 11 steps in for the Royals. Foul ball there. Mm -hmm. No, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Check swing, but he went too far. And the count is 0-2. And the righty deals. Strike. One ball, two strikes. Slice to right, and there's a hit. So that will bring up the top of the order with one away. The batter, number eight. Back to the top of the lineup, Nikki, Nikki Lopez, Lopez steps in for the Royals. Runner, runner, runner. The kick in the pit. Runner goes. Strike in there. Sanchez throws. Too late. Stolen base. That was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. Next pitch in the dirt. And one and one. One out and a runner at second. Next pitch has popped up. Arise. Makes the play. Two down. Now batting. Left fielder. Andrew Benintendi. Now it's Andrew Benintendi to hit. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. Number 11 on its second with two down. When you look at Benintendi, think about this. 
He played in the same conference as both Alex Bregman and Dansby Swanson. Those two guys picked ahead of him in the first round, but it was Benintendi who was the ah, That ends the inning, so we take a break. So one left for Kansas City, and this is still a 4-1 ball game. Bottom of the inning, and now here is Jorge Polanco. Leading off for the Twins, the second baseman. Now when you think about players in the past or even in today's game, who's a comparison? He reminds me a little bit of Harold Baines. Both of them lefties, both outfielders, and he's shown similar types of production at the plate. Witt makes the grab, one pitch and one out. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes yeah, those eyes can get really right big. Field. I think his swing broke right. down as well, and Get that's what there. caused him to pop it up. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. And he chases that one. Two out. Well, clearly just anxious right there, and understandably so. In an 0-2 count, you feel like you've got a lot of plate to cover, and you don't want to strike out, and you end up striking out. That's just one of those pitches where it's not over the plate, but because you committed to it as it was leaving his hand, by the time you realized it wasn't going to be in the zone, it's too late to hold up your swing. And now Alex Kirilov. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Two down, nobody on. And that one pulled foul. And he deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The pitch. Stays alive. And a one-two. Got him. And good work there as he gets a one-two-three. Down go the Twins in order as they hold on to a 4-1 lead. Ladies on the mound now for the Twins, right, Griffin you. Jacks. Now, and he'll work on holding this lead. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about right, middle right. innings. And he did a little yeah. length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his Leading skipper. The, Royals, the third baseman, number seven, Bobby the pitch. Witt Jr. Witt in the box again, takes the strike. Pitching has been pretty dominant in this one, but you got to be careful, not working with too big a lead. They could get right back in this ball game if you're not careful. The old one. Way out front for strike two. Not a swing you want to watch again. The wind of the pitch. Out front and foul to the left side. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And there's one down. Well, that slider down and away, it's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect, and halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. I'll tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. So now it's the four-hole hitter, MJ Melendez. And he's already singled in this game. Next offering is down low. And that's ball one. Oh. 
Next pitch is outside. Minnesota's bullpen with some action. Caleb Thielbar, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. Right-handed reliever. That's both. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. 3-1 is on the way. And that's ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now, now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Hunter at the play. Hunter Dozier. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. The next pitch misses. Now 2-0. Oh. No and the right-hander deals. Hit on the ground, might be two. Off balance feet, there's one. And it's a double play to end the inning. Seven, eight, nine, two up in the home half of the inning. It's the Twins four and the Royals one. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and now there's a new pitcher on the mound, Taylor Clark. Number it's his job to keep his team Taylor. in the game. Well, we go bottom six. Gior Shella steps in. Leading off for the Twins. The third baseman. Here comes the pitch. Urshela. Misses inside. And that is ball one. Activity in the Kansas City bullpen. Amir Garrett up and getting ready for Mike Matheny. And the pitch. That one pushed foul. And here it comes. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Now the count is even. <laughs> Next pitch is outside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. A wide to kick the pitch. And there's a foul ball. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Taylor makes the grab, one down. Now batting, catcher. Gary. Gary Sanchez at the plate. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Righty delivers. Check swing, but he went too far. Strike one. The wind and the pitch. No bench off the plate. Ball two. On the ground, out to short. On to first. Oh. Two up, two down. Oh. 
Now back, the designated hitter. Jose. Two outs, base is empty. Next to hit, Jose Miranda. First offering, misses the mark. Next offering is in for a strike. Next one misses, two and one. Two balls, one strike. That's inside. Looks like he was trying to get to the front door with that curveball. It's definitely a finesse pitch, but it backed up a little bit on him and stayed inside. Kicks and fires. And yeah, there's ball four. Bo, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, the first baseman. I think that if they Louis. gave the pitcher a full oh, scouting God. report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Arise, stands in now and watches strike one. And a seed into center, that's a base hit. They stop the lead runner at second, now two on with two outs. Just so sound in his mechanics, hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Here's a big power threat. Byron Buxton, he blasted one out earlier in the third. Just a solo home run, but an important swing of the bat in this game. We've already seen him do it once. Can he do it again? That one's in there on one. Next one is off the plate. And yeah, the count even one and one. Kicks and deals. That one misses. Yeah, that's ball two. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Next offering misses. And the count is three and one. The pitch. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, boy. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. On the ground at first. Oh, wow. nice play. And that's a great play for the out. Twins leave the bases loaded, but they lead it 4-1. to one. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Caleb Fieldball. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Fieldball. We go to the top of the seventh. So up now for Kansas City, Vinny Pasquantino. The Royals in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And a pitch. 
And first offering is fouled off. Good eye right there. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. Ball to strike. And that one is in for a strike. pitch swing and a miss and he struck him out and one gone well that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate now, two strikes the sort right of pitch you're hoping for a bit of a mistake and I'd say in a very hittable location but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it now it's the right fielder Kyle Isbell First pitch is in the dirt. The 1-0. -oh. That one at the knees for a strike. The 1-1. One -one. And a foul ball. Threw open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And there's two away. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one. Getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. These aren't fun at bats if you're a hitter. I'm so glad I'm retired. And yeah, the batter now, Michael A. Taylor. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The lefty to 1 0. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Now, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific fight at the end. The pitch. Two ball, two strike. Foul ball, he stays alive. Let's do it, Twins! Two two down. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Urshela settles under this one. He's got it. And that is out number three. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Twins four and the Royals one. We're Ladies back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Amir Garrett. And he'll do his best to keep this close. Number 24, Amir Garrett. And welcome back. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Jorge Polanco. For the twin, the second baseman, Jorge Polanco. And a pitch. The other way. Just inside the line, and it's down for a knock. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. Throw, and it gets away. And he's going to get to second with nobody out. And now, Max Kepler, one for three. Now batting, right fielder, Max. First pitch doesn't find the zone.
wait for the pitch. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. Here's a 1-1. One, one. The count is 2 and 1. Polanco at second with nobody out. Next one off the plate inside. Ball three. And now the lefty fouls one away, and now three and two. Hanging in there pretty good against the lefty. On the ground, right side. Throws to first, and one away in the bottom of the seven. Now that's left fielder, Alex Kirillov. Now the left fielder, Alex Kirillov. He launched a solo shot back in the second inning of this one. Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off onto the right foot. in there for strike one. Here's your one. That one kicks away from the catcher. No advance though. Here's a one one. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. The one two. Stays alive. And he deals. Slider misses outside. The next offering misses, and it's three and two. The pitch. Players one into center. Makes the grab. Two down. Throw not in time as he's able to get back to avoid the double play. Now for the Twins, Gio Urshela. Right side. To first, third out. One left for Minnesota as they hold on to a 4-1 lead. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Yohan Duran, and this guy can bring it velocity-wise. They know that he can get a right-hander out, but he's in position to face a couple of lefties this inning. Back here at the ballpark, and stepping in is the speedy number 11. The second baseman. You've got to keep things airtight defensively right here, on your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. That's in for a strike. And ball one. Going to 
count one and two. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. One, two now. And down on strikes. And there's one down. Well, that splitter out of the hand, it just sort of jumps on you. And your interpretation is, here comes a fastball again. Well, it never really reaches because the bottom falls out of it and you swing over the top. And that's why they call it a split finger fastball because it looks like a four-seamer. Nicky Lopez steps in for the Royals. That one fouled off. And he lays down a bunt. Urshela to first in time. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Now that left fielder, Andrew Benintendi. Benintendi to the plate. In there, and it's 0-1. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Swings and misses, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Royals bats are quiet there, and they trail it 4-1. So the Royals bring on a new arm, Joel Pyant. And his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And Gary Sanchez at the plate. Leading off for the Twins. The catcher, Gary Sanchez. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. And that's outside. Righty to the plate. And it is two and one. And the righty deals. And delivers outside. And the right hander deals. And he walked him. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. The game plan that he's sticking to, he's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Now, here is Jose Miranda, one for two. And that one fouled off. The 0-1. Good eye right there. Sanchez gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Next pitch misses. And it's two and one. And here it comes. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Two-two down. Fouled off. He was late. That one handled. 
Over to Lopez Juan. How about that double play? The first baseman, number two, Luis. Oh, Ryan. So up next for Minnesota, Luis Arias. And first offering is fouled off. Next pitch is downstairs. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Here's a one-two. Popped up. He makes the grab, and that's the inning. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Emilio Pagan, trying to protect this lead. Number 14, Emilio Pagan. All set to start the ninth in this one, and here is Bobby Witt Jr. Here comes the pitch. And there's the ball. And the 1 0. Swinging a foul back. That's out of play. Kicks and deals. And now 1 and 2. Foul ball, he stays alive. Next offering is foul back. Here's a one two. And that one fouled off. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. Stays alive. Right-handed reliever. <laughs> Straighten him up a little bit. And now two and two. Got him looking. One away. Absolutely dotted the edge of the zone right there. That was a tough battle, man. So to make a really quality pitch and just catch him looking like that, it's got to feel good out there on the mound. That was a fun at bat to watch. MJ Melendez digs in now. First offering, and it just misses. A 1 0. Ground ball right side, and that one finds its way through. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it right on time. Good, balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. Runner on at first with one gone. Hunter Dozier steps in for the Royals. Slap is foul. Now 
Now the Yawan. And now just two outs away. Here's a 1 1. And this is inside. And a pitch. And another ball. And a foul ball. Ground ball to the right side. Fair ball. And that's going to get into the corner. Lead runner holds at third. So two runners in scoring position and just one out. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Here's the first baseman, Vinny Pasquantino. Hit hard, but foul off to the left. The tying run at the plate. Swing and a miss. Well, so many hard throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that guys have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch up. Second and third here. One away. Got him swinging. Two down. Came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way. Now, at that time, a little anxious. And now the right fielder, Kyle Isbell. Swings through that one. 0 oh, and 1. Comes up empty on the swing. 0 oh, and 2 now. Left hand batter waits. Out to short, Correa collects it. Now the throw to first on the run. Not in time, he lakes it out. Not every base hit is a liner into the gap. Just like not every strikeout's a perfect slider yeah. down and away. That's I mean, good. right there, he just Michael put the ball in play on the ground and gave it his all to get down to first for the knock. So here's Tyler Duffy onto the mound. Number 21, Tyler Delphi. So two down, Michael A. Taylor, the next to hit. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Two outs. They say you win. Just one strike away. Got him! And that's the ball game. What a three pitch save. This guy might have cheated a little bit. Gets in the ball game, wants to show off his arsenal, and really didn't get that opportunity. But I think he'll take it. Whenever you get that save, but do it efficiently, he'll be ready to pitch tomorrow. And your final 4-2 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chompy saying so long.
Bouncing like a trampoline Glass shake when I roll past the scene Candy apple pay dripping classic green Everybody eating, you can ask the team Fast and in, stickers bumping tags Can keep me something Throw back to Coco Bass hit like a earthquake the final line score for this afternoon ball game for the victorious twins four runs on 11 hits no errors they left nine runners on base for kansas city two runs on eight hits no errors they left seven men on base the winning pitcher is sunny gray the loss goes to zach greinke time of the ball game two hours and 45 minutes Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely. Whether in the projects or the palace, even when the pale horse tried to dial up, it's